Hello there! Welcome to another video. So this video is going to talk about how to swim this summer 2022. Pay attention, okay? We're going to talk about the who, what, where, when, why, okay? And I'm going to explain each of them one by one. So here we go. Starting with the when. When to swim! You're probably thinking, I should swim on the weekends. Wrong! Family swim is overcrowded, overcongested, full of pee pee and poo poo and lots of E. coli. Wherever you go, whether you're going to the beach, the pool, riverside, I don't care where, never swim on the weekends, okay? That's when families go and that's when it's like Disney time, okay? So never swim on the weekends. When should you swim? On the weekdays, but what time specifically do you recommend, Justin? Well, it's just like driving on the road. You know you should swim and drive when it's not busy, non-rush hour. When's that? Lunchtime and before closing. Those are the only two times that I recommend. Those are the only two times that I swim personally. I swim during lunchtime because everyone's on their lunch break and they're eating lunch and they're out. They're not thinking about swimming. Why before closing? That's because all the kids swimming lessons are finished and done with, okay? And all the parents and the families, they leave the pool and only the the avid swimmers are left, okay? So for example, I swim perfectly fine around 9 p.m. sometimes before closing. And pools like community centers, they close around 10 p.m., okay? So keep that in mind. Around lunchtime and before closing on a weekdays are the best times to swim, okay? Where to swim? You're probably thinking, I should go to the beach this summer. I should go to my local blah, blah, blah outdoor pool this summer. Wrong again. Think about what other people are thinking. Most other people are thinking the same thing as you, and you're gonna do the opposite, okay? So, I do not recommend swimming in outdoor pools because they're gonna be packed with kids. Kids are gonna be occupying those pool, those lanes. You don't wanna be swimming with kids. Beaches, no, you don't wanna be swimming on practicing swimming on the beach, especially if you're a beginner because, again, you're gonna deal with a lot of tourists, a lot of families, a lot of people that don't know how to swim. You don't wanna be mixing around with those types of people. Where should you swim, especially when you're a beginner? At your local community center pool, okay? Or, better yet, if you can get access to it, find a private pool, okay? Private pools are the way to go, okay? If you had to choose between a public toilet and a private toilet, 10 out of 10, you would choose a private toilet, okay? Same thing with pools, okay? If you have access to a condo pool or a private pool, get it, use it, milk it for what it's worth, okay? Because there is zero traffic in those pools and it's private and the water is so clean and your stress levels will just be non-existent, okay? Believe me, okay? Now, what to wear when you swim? Okay, people get this wrong all the time. I should wear a bikini. I should wear surfboard trunks, board shorts, it, as they're called. Wrong, 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 okay? Girls? Girls, please save the bikinis for your tanning sessions at the beach. If you're seriously going to swim this summer, 2022, wear a one-piece swimsuit, okay? Nothing else, okay? The brand, the go-to brand, the gold standard brand for all swimmers is Speedo. It's the Nike of swimming gear, okay? Anything you can get your hands on that says Speedo on it, go get it, okay? So get a one-piece swimming suit made by Speedo. Now, guys... Please do not wear surfboard shorts because they're too baggy. Do not wear those uh, gym shorts. Again, they're too baggy. It's like wearing a parachute. You don't want to be wearing a parachute when you're trying to improve your speed in the water or trying to swim forwards, okay? So for guys, you have two options that I recommend. One is to wear just a slim fit trunks, okay? You can get away with slim fit trunks, okay? They're, they're, they're less baggy, okay? That's one option. A better option is to wear jammers, okay? Jammers are basically just like compression shorts, all right? So they they don't reveal too much of the body, unlike those you know, those those G-string Speedos you see some swimmers wear. I never wear those, by the way, because it's, it's just too revealing and it's just too gay, in my opinion. So stick to jammers. I like jammers because they're compressed and they don't create any drag in the water for me and they, I just fly in the water every time. Okay, so that's what to wear. Now, who to swim with? This is a good question. Who should you be swimming with? Should you swim alone? Yeah, if you want, if you if there's a lifeguard at hand, 
yeah, do it with a life with a lifeguard at hand. But if you're at a private pool and there's no one around, okay, now there's a liability factor. What if you get in trouble? No one there to save your ass, no one to help hold you accountable, okay, for your actions. Are you actually doing the work, putting in the work on improving your swimming this summer? Okay, so the best thing or best person to swim with, we'll talk about thing first. The first thing you should swim with is a camera. I'm serious. You should be filming your swimming sessions if you want to improve. Bring a GoPro, bring your smartphone, get a waterproof case. No excuses. You have something that you can film yourself with. Okay? Use it to film your sessions so you can look back at the footage and you can see it from someone else's eyes what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. Okay? So film always film your swimming. Who should you swim with? Well, uh, you should swim with a swim coach or someone who is at the same level or better level than you, okay? You can always learn from someone who's better than you. Someone who's worse than you, I don't know, if you're a beginner, I don't know who that would be. But in my opinion, you should swim with a swim coach, hire one if you have to, or swim with someone who's better, like your older brother or your your friend, okay? Maybe he or she can teach you a few things or two, okay? Because, you know, swimming alone is demotivating, okay? It's intimidating at first at first but once you get your your routine going yeah you can just be alone with your gopro like myself all right? and you just it just becomes a habit now finally why learn the strokes okay now you're probably wondering shouldn't i learn treading first justin shouldn't i learn uh like uh, open water swimming or uh, uh cpr or first aid swimming or rescue swimming, lifeguard swimming no 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 Forget all that noise, okay? There's only two things you work on. Only two things you work on when you get in the water. One is your front crawl. Two is your breaststroke. But that breaststroke comes later on, okay? But if you are serious about swimming, these are the only two strokes that you should be learning, okay? Front crawl is boo 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 this. Breaststroke is this, okay? Why should you learn these two strokes? Because they complement each other, okay? Breaststroke is very easy on the body. That's why you see a lot of seniors doing this. Front crawl gets you a lot of speed. It gets you going from A to B, okay? It's it's the basic workhorse of your strokes. Back crawl is like driving in reverse. How often do you drive in reverse for long periods of time? I don't think so, especially on the highway when there's lots of traffic and all these other cars you're dealing with. You don't do that. So why do you focus on back crawl? Back crawl is only specific for competitive swimmers. So unless you're specializing in backstroke, don't do that, okay? Backstroke, back crawl, they're the same, by the way. Butterfly is for showing off, okay? If you have the energy, if you have the body, by the way, you have to get fit before you even attempt a butterfly. I don't care what people say. You need to have a, a certain level of fitness in order to attempt a full butterfly going from one end of the pool to the other. So don't think about butterfly, okay? Treading water and all that, don't focus on that, okay? You can wear a flotation belt, I'll show you later on. And uh, deep sea rescue and all the deep, deep sea diving and all that blah, 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 blah. That's just noise, okay? That comes later on, okay? The core, the core of your swimming will come down to these two strokes, your front crawl and your breast stroke, okay? Focus on these two. If you don't know how to do them, watch my other videos. Just do a search on my channel. You'll find tutorials on those two, okay? So that's, in a nutshell, how to swim summer 2022. If you have any questions, leave them comments, comments, not down below, but in the Facebook group, okay? I have a Facebook group, private Facebook group. Join that Facebook group. Make, post questions, You post your, your videos in that group. And then you will get a response from me because I'm not going to answer any more comments down below on YouTube. I'm sick of the YouTube spam junk and all that. Okay, so hope this video is useful. My name is Justin. Go get my free ebook down below. And uh, thanks for watching and have fun this summer. Bye!